Welcome back to Arizona Home Tours. Today we are at Mesquite at North Creek here in Queen Creek, Santan Valley, and we're checking out this beautiful two story, 3,100 square foot home. Again, it's from Woodside Homes, five bed, three and a half baths. Now, this is the model, and the base price of this monster is $574,490. This is a somewhat new community, great views of the mountains. Off there as you see, but the pool here is magnificent. HOA is right around 120 a month. Let's go inside, check this one out. So nice and tall soon as you walk in. You have a stairs off to the left, some beautiful windows there as well. Just gonna give you a nice little shot. Now this is the Desert Rose. You can get it in five to six beds, three and a half to four and a half baths, a loft and a two car garage. And again, base price, 574, 490. And depending on what upgrades and options you choose, you're probably gonna be looking at 10 to 15% above that for your final price. I'll give you another shot of this kitchen. And if you like this home and you're like, man, I really like it, but I'm ready to move now. I don't have, you know, six months to wait for a new build. Well, they have one that's gonna be completed here next month. And that is a five bedroom, three and a half bath. And that final price, after all your upgrades and options, is gonna be right around 650. So we're gonna start upstairs, mix it up a little bit on you, and then we're gonna check out the beautiful kitchen and the bedrooms. And they also have some incentives available, nothing crazy, um, 10 to $15,000 to use towards closing costs, really just depends. Nice loft sitting area. Give you an idea of kind of what that looks like. And I like just the features, like there on the wall, your added windows, and even things like this desk. Give you another shot as it looks from the stairs, looking out onto the loft. But first, let's go check out this bedroom. Let me know what you think. So here's your primary bedroom, I believe. Now this is my first time walking through this. So I could be wrong. I've been wrong once before or many times before. My daughters will definitely let me know when I'm wrong. Then you have some nice recess lighting up above. And the finished home may be a little bit different than this one. I would not be surprised if this is just a guest bedroom and not the primary bedroom. And you have just the shower surround, not uh, tiled, and walk-in closet. My guess is this is not your primary bedroom and it's actually going to be a guest bedroom. So if this is for a guest bedroom, this is pretty nice. I'll give you another shot looking into the bathroom from this side, just to kind of give you an idea. And if you're watching this, you're lucky because you get to see the first video with a new camera setup I'm using. So let me know your thoughts. You probably don't care, <laughs> and just a guess. And stairs. All right, now let's check out laundry here to the left. Really good size laundry room. And I love the additional storage, kind of workspace. And tell me there's a sink. Nope, no sink. So that'd probably the one thing I'd be missing if you want a sink in here. But I do like that there's additional counter space. Cabinet as well. Give you an idea of what that looks like inside. Pretty standard, nothing too crazy. So some unique tile. And attic storage right above me as well. There's a closet. And this is pretty cool. Just more space aloft. It even features like this with the wall. It just stands out. I'm gonna pick this pillow up. So just to give you an idea, I'm gonna have a seat. Okay. 
get the feel of what it's like to sit down here. Get the bedroom off that way, and then behind me. Probably like there's also a closet here, put your games or whatever, and additional window. So just little things like that kind of make a home come together. Probably things you don't realize you enjoy until you see it in a home. Let's check out this bedroom right here. And if you've watched this channel, you always know I talk about the dresser litmus test. So if there's a dresser in the bedroom, just feel better that it's not a tiny bedroom. If you don't see a dresser in a bedroom, chances are it's not an oversized bedroom by any means. But this one actually definitely larger than most of the new home bedrooms that I've, I go in and that I tour on this channel. and a nice good sized closet. And what I like about this community is there's several different we'll call it collections, depending on what your price point is. And even in this collection, even this community, this collection, I should say, um, varying price points. So if you're ready to move in in the spring, they have one that'll be available that'll be under $500,000, three, two. So really can, uh, if you just wanna be in this community, Depending on your price point, you'll be able to find something, but I love this tile. Give you a look at that tile floor. Just a little bit different than what you see. Most and kind of tile has almost like a, a Berber texture to it. Then you have your dual sinks. And just with you know the tile work there. Also just something that stands out. It just looks just feels like a clean, nice. I don't mean clean as in dirty, but just the way it all comes together looks really nice. Now this bedroom. And another nice size closet for a spare bedroom. Give me a look outside. Again, we are at the model, so depending on where you end up building, if you build in this community, where your actual lot will be, depending on uh, what you select. And here's the other bedroom. Now, if you're new to the channel, um, let me know what is it you're looking for. Do you have certain areas, price points, styles? Or are you just someone who likes to look at home tours? I'm posting two to three times per week on this channel. So you get to see a good range in price points from very, very entry level to the millions of dollar listings. I've already gone in there. Let's head downstairs. We can check out the kitchen. My guess is that primary bedroom is gonna be down there if that one behind me is not it. And here we are. I love the tile work here too. There's something that stands out, not your typical 18 by 18 tile. So I love that it's nice and open right into the living space and your kitchen. So usually you're not gonna have those pendant lighting those pendant lights that come with a new build. Again, it depends on some of the options, upgrades that you choose. Not that those are overly expensive to go and buy on your own, but the biggest thing is making sure it's already wired, ready to go. That way you don't have to worry about doing that yourself. Give you a shot of that backsplash. Goes well with the contrasting with the darker cabinets too. Nice big island, storage for your pans down here, farmhouse style sink, and then the light is out in the pantry, but you get the idea. And I just had some awesome clients come in town this week 
we looked at some homes out in this area and uh, it's always nice when you guys reach out to me, watch these home tours, and now it's time for you to go on your own in-person home tour and see things up close and personal because mostly what I feature are the model homes. So they are done up, they look amazing. But if you ever want to see a certain area and you're wondering, are there any quick move-ins, um, just reach out, all my contact info is below because usually it's not on the builder's website, um, but I will have access to it. So if there's a certain neighborhood that you love, price point, let me know and I can uh, do a personal tour for you or at least feature it on this channel and also get uh, in-depth incentives too because those change often and sometimes they're only for the specific home. So here's your primary bedroom. Awesome space in here. I don't know if you can hear, there's speakers right up top. Nice can lighting. And also, wired up top for a ceiling fan, ready to go. Let's go check out this bathroom. There's your tub. Nice tile surround there too. I haven't seen this type of tile pattern in other builders, so pretty cool. Um, I like what they've done here. And a good size walk-in closet. So what do you think of this home? Now keep in mind what the base price is, but they do have one that's gonna be finished soon, and the finished one is gonna be 650, and I don't know of the exact options and upgrades they've chosen. But if you if you like this layout and this floor plan, and you're like, yeah, 650, I'd be very interested, um, just send me an email and I'll get you all of the details on that spec home. Now when you hear spec, don't think cheap. It's just, it's all the options have already been selected for you. And here is the backyard. And yes, the backyard of a new build is not gonna look like this, it's gonna be dirt, but really to give you an idea of some of the options, some of the possibilities that you can do yourself, and really just kinda of get an overall feel for the size of this backyard. And there we have it. So if you like this, stick around for the next home tour because I think you're gonna love it, and I'll see you next time.